When we work with law of assumption, we are working with reality as a reflection of what is going on in our subconscious. And what can happen when we start seeing reality as a reflection of our subconscious is we look out into reality and go, oh my God, that reflection sucks. And I want to talk to you about what to do when you're not liking the reflection coming back at you because it's going to happen if it hasn't already and it'll continue to happen, but that's actually helping you to awaken from that reflection. So it can be a good thing, but it's not always pleasant. And that's what I want to talk about today. Stick around. My name is Hedley Dorenzi. If you would like support stepping into the starring role of your movie, I'm available for Law of Assumption coaching. I also have a free 21 days set yourself up with the ultimate self-concept course, which is the ultimate story that you want to be telling. You'll find those details in the box below this video or at my website, youaretheone.com.au. But let's get into today's topic. What do you do when you look out into reality and the reflection coming back at you sucks? because that is what can happen, will happen, probably has happened if you've been working with Law of Assumption for some time, or if you're coming into Law of Assumption for the first time, that will definitely happen because suddenly you're becoming aware that reality is actually reflecting back what's going on within you. It's not happening outside of you. It's not happening to you. It's reflecting you back. Sometimes those reflections are very confronting and very unpleasant. And what do you do in those situations? This video was inspired by a conversation I just had with my friend who is very much into Law of Assumption about a character that it was not a pleasant reflection. And she was just like, ew, like if reality is a reflection, like I don't want it. Like this reflection's like, ew. <laughs> and it was in relation to somebody, a character that had shown up in her movie and she was just like, oh my God, this is like, what, what is this reflecting back in me? And that is a question you may find yourself asking a little bit of is if something is showing up in your reality or someone is showing up in your reality and you're looking at them and going, ew, this reflection is very unattractive. I don't want this reflection. Like, what is this reflecting in me? This can't be like this. Surely this can't be true. I'm not that. This is like mm -mm. the one thing that you need to learn how to do in this is to one stay and not kind of want to run away. I know the temptation is very much there. Even in the ugliest reflection that you're looking at, even if somebody is coming and reflecting back to something that is just so unpleasant, Yes, they are reflecting you back. Yes, they are. I know it's awful. And you want to be gentle with yourself through those moments because it doesn't feel good. It's not pleasant. But once you clear that, you won't have to have those characters show up in your reality. I've proven that to myself enough times now. When I work with myself in relation to something that's showing up in my reality, it always changes. Always, always, always. Either that person dissolves from my reality without any effort on my part. They just move away or they get a job somewhere else or something happens and they just disappear. Or that person shifts into a new version of them and they kind of step up into this amazing new person that like, wow, I didn't see that coming. So anything is possible. But if you change, they have to change because yes, your reality is reflecting you back. So when you are faced with a reflection that is very unpleasant, that you don't like, that you don't want to own, that you don't want to accept, own it accept it, at least acknowledge it. Even if you don't accept it, at least acknowledge that it's there and it's at you and you don't like it and you don't want to accept it, but at least acknowledge it and go, okay, I don't like what I'm seeing, but I know that I am causing my reality and what's in my reality is reflecting back what is within me. And remember, you're the infinite I am. Everything exists within you. Everything, like the light and the dark, the icky and the wow, it all exists within you. It's all you. And whatever you're resisting in you, which is generally the icky, that's what's calling for your attention. That's what you want to pay attention to. That's why that character is showing up to get your attention, to help you awaken to the fact that you are the infinite I am. You are everything. And once you acknowledge your everything, once you bring everything in and go, I am the icky and the wow and the amazing and the ill and the, oh wow, that's awesome. And the, oh my God, that's so gross. Once you accept that you are the absolute everything, you are all possibilities and all capacities or all states of consciousness exist within you, then you get to choose who you are and who 
everyone else is and then you get to choose the characters that are showing up in your reality rather than the characters showing up in your reality to reflect back what you don't want to know and then you push them away and that's why they keep showing up and then you're like what's going on I don't understand how this law of assumption works my reality sucks how, does, how do I get rid of everybody in my reality there's a little bit of work to do I do understand that in the beginning it can feel like there's a lot to deal with you've got a lot of icky stories running and there's some characters that you're like I don't want to own that because that's just too unacceptable to own within myself that person over there that I've spent my lifetime resisting and trying to get away from there's no way that's me yes there is a way it's you and the way through them is through I am just I am everything you see in that person and then you just change the story to the opposite and then guess what that person either dissolves or they step up into the new version that you've claimed within yourself it all comes from you no one to change but self it all starts with you and it all gets reflected back in your reality and your characters are always and forever reflecting back your characteristics and they are either reflecting back the characteristics you are resisting or they are reflecting back the characteristics that you love because remember you're everything so you have characters that you love and characters that you don't love but today we're talking about the characters that we don't love that really we're like, oh, that's just an awful reflection. How on earth could that be within me? Once you realize you have everything to choose from, then you can go, okay, well, I'm going to choose that, 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 and that. But I'm not in resistance to that, 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 and that. Because I've owned that that's a possibility within myself. And I'm choosing this. As long as you are in resistance to a character, that character will show up because that character is helping you awaken. They are trying to get your attention. They are trying to remind you that this is you. This exists within you. And the reason that they're there is to get you to accept that that exists within you. It doesn't mean you're going to choose it for yourself. It just means that you have that choice. You've got to own it all. You've got to own the smorgasbord before you get to choose. If you're just choosing from a li limited palette, there's going to be people over here going, well, hang on a second. What about me? What about me? You can choose from me. And you're like, no, 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 no. And they're going, yeah, 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 yeah. And it just goes on and on and on until you realize you're the infinite I am, everything exists within you, own, acknowledge it all, and then you choose from a conscious place as to who you want to be and how everyone is going to show up. And trust me, they do. Don't trust me. I always say that. Don't trust me. Trust yourself. Put this to the test and be your own test. Test this for yourself. And if it works, which it will, <laughs> then you'll know that this is how things work. I would encourage you to have a play with this and also be super, super, super loving and gentle to yourself when you are faced with those reflections that are just so like awful and make you depressed and think oh my god I'm just such an awful horrible icky person because this is obviously if reality is a reflection and this is my reflection that's just so horrible and it can make you feel really down and depressed um, but it's part of the process you will move through if you bring it in and just accept that yeah this exists within you it's not who you are it's not who you're going to be it just exists within you that's all it's just a possibility from an ocean of infinite possibilities from you to choose from and it's just showing up to get your attention to remind you of that you are the infinite i am you are the star of your show and you have so much to choose from anything that is available to you. And I think the point of this video is to just be really gentle with yourself when you're faced with those reflections that are not pleasant. I know that place. It's not pleasant. It's not. Sometimes you look in the mirror of reality and you're like, I don't like what I'm seeing. But that is what is there and that is reflecting back what is within you and that is what you've got to work with. You've got to stay with yourself. You've got to work with yourself. And when you do, when you bring it in and when you own that that exists within you, then you get to change it and it doesn't have to be your reality anymore and it won't be. It just won't. It'll dissolve or it'll shift into another version of itself. And again, test it out for yourself. But always remember that you are the amazing creators of your reality. You are the superstar of your show. You are the producer, the writer, the director, and the actor in your movie. What you assume to be true will be so. So assume the best for you. Assume the best for everyone in your movie too. And you will have an amazing life. This is my wish, my vision, and my prayer for you and for me too. Thank you so much for listening. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your wonderful comments, which I love reading. If you'd like to subscribe to my channel, I'd love to have you. And I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.